Welcome. started with the actual G suit. So let's focus now into installed plugins and look out for the G one. Let's go and scroll all my way down. And here, as you can see, we do have G side. And now that I activated my actual custom section, I want to find this just below dashboard. Inside dashboard, you want to go into setup side kit, connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. Let's go in here and hit into sign in with Google. After you have successfully signed in, let's go and hit into verify, hit into setup once again. And lastly, it's gonna be showing you the Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics is something a little bit more different than Tag Manager. It's gonna be helping you a lot, but this is totally optional. But once you added the Google Analytics into your website, all of the other elements should be added like right away. So if you don't have an account, you can just set up a new account though. Hit into configure analytics, you enable the universal analytics, you have the property here and the web data streaming here. You can just add a new one and you can hit into, let's, put, let's say for example, this one and hit into continue. So lastly, let's go back into WordPress, into Google site. I'm gonna go into my settings and here into my settings, I wanted to look out or the elements that I have just connected, as you can see here are all of them. Let's go into connect more services and choose setup tag manager. Account should be this one, container should be this one by default and hit into confirmed and continue. And hit into okay, I got it. And my tag manager should be now right away. So all users, 
I'm going to hit back into Google Tag Manager. I'm going to close this part. This cart changes. I'm going to reload the page. And you should see that your tag is now being added automatically. So as you can see, this is like a very easy way to do it. And you don't have to like do a lot of things inside the tag assistant because we have just done everything directly from WordPress inside your G Suite. That's the reason why we just do it uh, directly. Just make sure that this one actually is working. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to check it out more elements of how we can add more than just one element from the actual G Suite directly from your actual WordPress. So thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I can see you next time. See you soon.